My fellow councillors, I'm here today to talk about the petition Kingston needs a large live music venue. After rumours became facts and plans of the Surrey House proposals emerged, I thought it necessary to get the importance of the Hippodrome, or rather what happens at the Hippodrome, onto the council's radar. I set up a petition and with minimal effort, thousands of people signed up. It's no secret that my route into local politics was a belief that authorities, and I include the council here, neither knew or cared for the thriving music scene in Kingston, that our culture wasn't as important as their culture. A few years back, it was about Kingston Carnival, and now it's about the Hippodrome. I won't believe the people who run this town and borough would knowingly be so blasé about the potential loss of one of its greatest assets. So I'm here to inform. Let it be clear, this petition is in no way a save the Hippodrome petition, and this isn't a comment on the developers or their plans. As much as I'm emotionally involved in the building, I recognise the need for growth. The importance of the place is really what happens inside it. The intention of this petition and the discussion it brings is to show the importance of facilitating the events which happen within those old walls, not 50 metres from where we're currently sitting. At present, there is only one venue in town which can regularly accommodate the production levels necessary for Grade A touring bands to come and play Kingston. It's not just that artists from Ed Sheeran to Vampire Weekend to Bring Me the Horizon to Busted have all played there. It's that Kingston bands like The Lodgers, Young Romance and The Lagan have played there too. It's that Wolf Alice, Shed Seven and The Fratellis are all lined up in the coming months. I mention Ed Sheeran and co, not because it's about chart toppers, but I think it's really important to show the Hippodrome isn't just about bands you haven't heard of for teenagers you want to avoid. It's a fully accessible venue which puts on gigs of very mu various music types for people of all ages, for students or for people who have been here for decades. The crowd can range from 1,500 kids queuing to see Shawn Mendes to the average age on the scanner of 45 years old when the Charlatans played a few months back. It even hosts events like the Chuckle Brothers a couple of weeks back to their regular nights with the Home Farms Trust, allowing clubbing events for people with learning disabilities. I know this is a long introduction, but it's only when we realise what is being missed that we can work out what needs to be replaced. Such music and music events repeatedly fail to make their way into the Council's strategic documents and fail to be mentioned when we talk about the London Borough of Culture bid. These are not subsidised events. The businesses involved run off their own backs, being creative and innovative, and not only bringing the cultural benefits to the town, but also a massive financial benefit to Kingston, with employment, taxes, and knock-on trade. So this petition isn't just about the bigger rooms and events. It's about valuing music at all levels. It's about celebrating Bacchus, the Fighting Cocks, the Cricketers, the Grey Horse. I've met with countless people and venues over the past few months about this. In a dream world where money was no problem, we'd have a brand new music venue and art space but I've been in council long enough to know there's other priorities and there's financial constraints. Instead, what we need is the people in this council to recognise such cultural events' importance and to make them continue to happen. I do welcome the money spent on heritage assets and contributing to other arts providers, but it's ironic that people here aren't asking for money. All we're asking for is a way, a permission, to make what we do continue happening. So what do we want? In short, facilitation. There are spaces that can work. There are businesses which see the financial benefits and there's certainly music lovers who can see the importance of live gigs. But right now, licensing and other restrictions would halt relocation in other sites. We need to prioritise the importance of live music concerts, if not for you, then for your kids. I cannot emphasise highly enough the unique experiences people get from live music events and how much well-being it brings. The council can make a choice and it can start tonight. It can choose to facilitate and, accom and accommodate as much as possible some of the greatest music events in the borough, or it can walk away. I welcome the late material, which in short says policy is to seek to resist the loss of such facilities. But seeking isn't enough. We need to ensure such events are not consigned to history for an exhibition in the rows in a few years' time about how music used to be. It is within the Council's remit, and I would say it is the Council's obligation, to ensure that Kingston's wonderful music scene is recognised and protected. We can't just note the petition and move along to the rest of the agenda. We need to find a pragmatic solution for the problem we have. I want today to be the first in a series of steps which will see this council in dialogue with promoters and venues to prioritise and value such music events. It starts today. I'm happy to take any questions if uh, I'm allowed to receive them. And for people in the public gallery, um, I will need to leave the room because it's very important that it's that I don't have a conflict of interest that could affect my business or my council business. Thanks for your time.
Thank you very much, Councillor uh, Tully.